Our JMA cover story, it's about a rare polio-like illness striking children across multiple states, and there are now three new suspected cases of, it's called AFM, in Pennsylvania. Paula Ferris here with the details. Hey, Paula. Good morning, Georgia. It is certainly disturbing. With these new cases, we're now looking at 38 diagnosed this year, and it is an especially troubling illness because there is no cure, there's no vaccine, and doctors do not know how it's spread. This morning, more cause for concern as three suspected new cases of that rare polio-like illness were reported in Pittsburgh. The disorder is called acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM. It looks like a cold or the flu, but quickly turns into polio-like symptoms. Those symptoms can include fever, arm or leg weakness, walking strangely, paralysis, and problem speaking. So far this year, clusters have been detected in 16 states, 38 cases total that's already surpassing last year's total. Your typical two-year-old before this, she was running around telling knock-knock jokes. It attacked Julia's um, body or spinal cord. These Illinois parents say their two-year-old daughter Julia is recovering after treatment, but 20-year-old Hannah McNeil of Colorado is learning to walk again after weakness in her lower extremities worsened, landing her in the hospital. She spends most days in a wheelchair. It just breaks my heart to see those little kids going through it. Of the 362 cases nationwide over the last four years, most have occurred in young children. And doctors say it's rare with no cure and they don't know how it's transferred. But most patients recover fully. Some kids uh, regain some of their function, but some kids have long lasting um, paralysis of their arm or their leg. It's one step at a time. It's, it's one day at a time. It's one minute at a time. It's one second at a time. Now, doctors stress the importance of recognizing those early signs and then seeking care as soon as possible. And because they are not certain how it's transmitted, it underscores the importance of washing your hands, staying current on your vaccinations, and avoiding mosquito bites. That's one possible way that it's spread. George, guys. It is a scary one. Okay, Paula, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.